Let's look at, at the available defensive tackles. And again, the Browns have added some. I wouldn't be surprised if they added another. Um, Matt Ioannidis is a guy that they were tied to before. I like A. Sean Robinson, Puna Ford, Jonathan Hankins. Uh, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, those are all good guys that can come in and start for you. This is this is where um, Jim Schwartz's evaluation of the tape is going to be important. Does he see guys who can't play in the NFL when he watches his tape? Does he see guys who cannot help this team win next year when he watches the tape? Or do he does he see guys who just weren't in the right spots to make plays? If he sees the latter, he's probably not going to go after any of those guys. Um, if it is the former, then they're going to be heavy in that market, right? But if he looks at Perry on Winfrey and thinks, oh, yeah, I could put him in a better position to be successful. If he looks at Jordan Nelly and assumes, oh, yeah, I could put him in the right position to be successful, then I think he'll just stick with the younger guys in the room there. Um, but I, I, that's always a balance between the GM and the coordinator and the coaching staff. Yeah, and, and Andrew Berry said they always include that. And, and to your point, are you asking guys to do things that aren't their strengths? That, it, Jim Schwartz has said, we got to figure out what guys do well and ask them to do that. And, and that's, I guess by definition, that's good coaching. Yeah, that's good coaching and that's just good people management, right? Just you want to ask people to do what they can do well and find people who's what they do well matches up with <laughs> other people's what they do well and then boom you got you got a team there right um so that's just good coaching good management and that's what Jim Schwartz is here to bring hopefully that is the case and again I think a lot of his evaluation of this room is going to be based on some of the tape and also just talking to the guys who seems coachable who doesn't right you know talking to Andrew Barry talking to Kevin talking to some of the defensive coaches that might be retained and saying hey how do you think this kid can be helped? Do you think he's going to be somebody who's going to be open to a different technique? Do you think he's going to be open to being moved here? Is he somebody who you find is very coachable? Do you think this was more of a missed opportunity on us versus them um, or versus them not capitalizing on an opportunity, right? There's, there's a lot riding on this season. They're not going to leave up most of the chance, and they're going to take chances on guys they feel like are sure beds.